one of the coolest things you can do with your photos after you take them is make them into prints. Unfortunately, you're going to get all kinds of reflection on these. That's an 11 by 14 Orion Nebula that I took. And then I got three 5 by 7s down there that I'm giving somebody else for Christmas. Again, you're getting the reflection of all kinds of stuff in there, so it doesn't look so great. But you get the idea. It's just a lot of fun to make these kinds of things, put them into nice frames. And then, you know, people who've admired your, your photography, you just give it to them for Christmas. So printing them up, a lot of fun. And they also look great. They look great when they're printed and matted and framed. So don't hesitate to make bigger prints of your, your photos. Of course, you're going to need higher resolution images. So uh, you're going to want to make sure you have a really good image that you've saved in a higher resolution. So here they are. That's an 11 by 14. And those are 5 by 7s in one of those three photograph frames over there. So ready to go for Christmas. Now I just have to wrap them up and put them under the tree. Tonight we are going after the horse's head nebula and the flame nebula. These are really tough targets. And the reason they're tough is it takes a lot of exposure time. I've already got six and a half hours on it. It's looking pretty good, but I want to try to get over 10 hours on this target. Got the telescope set up right here. Uh, ready to go tonight that is the esprit 120 from skywatcher and i'll be using my unmodified canon eos r again for this target it's a lot of fun and every time you get a new exposure on these what i'll do is i'll do a full night of shooting then i run it through sequitor and i see what i've got and every night you get something new and a little more detail and it's pretty exciting uh, my other hobby is bass fishing and i love bass fishing because when you hook into a big fish there's that adrenaline rush That line just popped right out of his mouth. I'm like, oh my God. Um, where? I got it. I get the same adrenaline rush with this thing right here. I'm a teacher. Before school this morning, I pulled up my newest exposure that I'd run through Sequitor. And as I started to process it, started to see all these incredible details. It was pretty exciting. So tonight I'm going to try to get another three hours. I'm going to try to get three more hours tomorrow. I'd really like 12 hours on this target. Now I am using an Optolong L Extreme filter and I'm also using an unmodified camera on this. So it's going to take a lot more exposure time than normal. 12 hours is actually not too much to get this target to get the kind of detail that I want to get out of the Horsehead Nebula. So join me tonight. We're heading back out. This is my, I think, fourth night. Probably going to have six nights on this target. So join me as we head out to take some pictures. It is time to film the Horsehead Nebula. Tonight we are shooting up here. I keep showing the sky, you can't see the stars. Eh, maybe you can. But it's just rising up over that house, which means I have all night to take photographs. But I gotta work tomorrow morning, so I don't know how long I'll be out here. We're all set up. Once again, the Esprit 120, Canon EOS R unmodified. The Panther TTS 160 mount down here. All set up, ready to go. Right now I'm shooting some dark frames, getting those set up, and then we'll be shooting at the sky. Well, I'm done with my Horsehead Nebula photograph. Let me give you some of the important statistics before we take a look at what I got. I got 11 hours of total exposure time, one minute subs. I was shooting at ISO 800 using my unmodified Canon EOS R. Now for this particular target, I have a modified camera. I've got the modified 60D. That's really the camera you wanna use for a target with this much of that red emission gas. The problem is my Canon 60D has got a crop factor of 1.6, so it zooms me too close in on this target to be using with my Esprit 120 telescope. So I didn't use the modified camera, which meant I had to put a lot more exposure time in there than I would have otherwise. So if you're shooting for the Horsehead Nebula and you've got an Astro modified camera, if you can make the, the whole target fit nicely in the frame, that's the way to go. You want to use unmodified cameras for this target. I also use the Optolong L Extreme filter, which blocks out a lot of the other light. So that's why I had such a long exposure time for it. I'm very pleased with what I came up with. Let's go ahead and take a look at my final Horsehead Nebula. <laughs> 